This is the Teton Sports 2-person Vista Quick Tent, and in this video, we'll be testing its ease of setup, ease of takedown, ease of packup, spaciousness, comfort, ventilation, and more. I bought this Vista Quick Tent from Amazon and got the tent inside the carry bag, stakes in a separate bag, four pre-attached guidelines, some marketing materials, and some instructions. I'll put affiliate links below if you want to check this out. To set up the Teton Sports 2-person Vista Quick Tent, first undo the drawstring and slide the tent out of the carry bag. Then unfold the tent body until it lays flat on the ground except for the center locking hub here and it'll be in the shape of a square. Unfold this side of the square which has two longer poles and now your tent base will be rectangular. Then lock the two longer poles like this. After that, reach for the two drawstrings at the very top of the center locking hub. Make sure to untangle them first if you find them tangled and then grab them with one hand. Lift it some distance off the ground and use your other hand to push down on the center locking hub. This will make your Vista quick tent pop up and takes just one minute so far. If you want to stake the quick tent out, you can push four stakes through these holes at the four corners of the tent. Next, grab the rain fly, drape it over the quick tent, and fasten the four buckles of the rain fly to the buckles at the four corners of the tent, like so. After that, make sure that the vestibule zips are all zipped up. Then guy out the quick tent with the four guy lines, two at the front and two at the back. Also, stake down the vestibules, one at the front and one at the back. Finally, open the rain fly vent at the back of the tent. This will all take another two and a half minutes, so altogether the entire setup will take about three and a half minutes. If you don't use any of the stakes and guy lines though, you can save yourself one and a half minutes. To take down this two-person Vista quick tent, first close the rainfly vent, then remove all the stakes from the guidelines and vestibules. Unbuckle the rainfly, then take it off. Remove the stakes from the tent body, then press down on these grey poles here with both hands. All the poles will fold down nicely and your tent body will be flat on the ground again. Unlock the two longer poles, then fold them up until you get back to your square base. Pick up the four edges of the square and fold them towards the center locking hub. Then lay it on the ground and push all the air out. This will take about one and a half minutes. To pack up, grab the top of the rain fly, place it on the ground and fold it in half. Lay the carry bag beside it and fold the rain fly nicely such that it'll be the perfect size for the carry bag. Like so, put the tent on the edge of the rain fly, roll it up with the rain fly and place it back into the carry bag. This will take another one and a half minutes so altogether the entire takedown and pack up will take about three minutes. Oh and the quick tent actually comes with these compression straps. So so you can use them if you want to. The base area of this Teton Sports 2 Prison Vista Quick Tent measures about 83 inches in length and 62 inches in width. When I inflated my Xbed Megamet Duo 10 inside this two-person Vista Quick Tent, which is about the size of two regular pads put together, I found that there was more than enough space left over for lots of camping gear. When I inflated my Elps Mountaineering Vertex Airbed inside this two-person Vista Quick Tent, and my Vertex Airbed is almost a queen-sized camping mattress, it fit perfectly into the quick tent with a few inches of leftover space for gear. One thing to note here is that because the queen sized vertex air bed fills up the entire tent, I think it's best to pick a camping mattress that can be inflated from the side and not at the head of the mattress. The side valve of the vertex air bed allows me to inflate it easily from the outside of the tent. The peak height inside this two-person Vista quick tent is about 40 inches. The walls slope downwards though, so you won't get to enjoy this peak height throughout the quick tent. When I was using my Vertex Airbed inside this two-person Vista quick tent, and the Airbed has a thickness of about 6 inches, I felt perfectly comfortable inside the tent. I was able to lie down and sit up comfortably and even had a few inches of headroom left inside the tent. But I'm not very tall though, so you might want to take that into account. With the rain fly in place, I got two very nice vestibule areas which are exactly the same on both sides and the longest width of each vestibule area is about 15 inches. There was more than enough space to fit my footwear along with other wet gear that you might want to leave out of the tent. When it's not raining and if you want easier access into your tent without having to zip open and shut the vestibule, you can tie up the fabric of the vestibule with these two latches right here. There are actually three latches but I always just use two and I thought it was more than enough. Once you tie the vestibule up, this will give you access to the two doors of this two-person Vista quick tent. Both doors are exactly the same, there's one door at each length of the tent and each door has a longest length of 52 inches and a longest width of 32 inches. 
Each door also has two zippers that can be opened and closed from the outside and the inside. You can also tie up the fabric of the door with these two latches right here. The only thing I didn't quite like about these doors is that these two latches at the bottom are very loose, so the fabric often unravels after I tie it up, but I guess it's not that big of a deal for me. There are quite a few storage options for this two-person Vista quick tent. First, there are two pockets, one on each width of the tent, and each pocket measures about 9 inches by 4 inches. Second, Teton Sports actually provides a gear loft that you can hook to the top of the tent here. The gear loft comes with four S hooks that you can attach to these four circular loops at the top. Third, even with the gear loft in place, there is still enough space in each of these four circular loops to hang a small lantern. This is a black diamond emoji and it fit perfectly alongside the gear loft. On a hot day without any rain, you can first remove the four guideline stakes if you're using them, unbuckle the rainfly fasteners, and take the rainfly off entirely. Once you do so, a good two-thirds of the Vista quick tent is made from mesh, so I got plenty of ventilation on hot days. It's also great for stargazing at night because you basically get almost unblocked views. If you want to leave the rainfly on though, you can unzip the two vestibules, clip the fabric to the sides, and get lots of ventilation from these huge mesh panels. The great thing about this tent is that there are two vestibules and two doors, so there's plenty of cross ventilation as well. On rainy days though, you do need the rainfly to be in place, which limits ventilation. Thankfully, there's one built-in rainfly vent that can be held open with a kickstand and a velcro attachment. It can also be closed completely, but I usually leave it open. Just bear in mind that you can only open and close it from the outside. Here's what it looks like from the inside. This is the vent with the velcro, and it's covered by a layer of mesh. Also, I noticed that the rainfly doesn't extend all the way to the ground and leaves about 2 inches of space between the ground and the rainfly for some ventilation. Before rain testing this Teton Sports two-person quick tent, I checked all the seams and found that the seams on the flooring were factory taped. The rest of the seams though, like the tent body to flooring seam was not taped, the yellow fabric to mesh seam was not taped, the inverted vertical seams were not taped, and the door seam was not taped. But they are protected by the rain fly, so let's see whether there's any leaking. To rain test this two-person Vista quick tent, I used a stopwatch for my one-hour rain test, and I also used this water hose to kind of simulate heavy rain which looked like this. After the one hour heavy rain test was up, I noticed that the underside of the rainfly was a little bit damp and some water had seeped through the rainfly. Thankfully though, the mesh and the yellow tent fabric was still dry and no water got into the tent through the rainfly. However, I noticed a few drops of water leaking in through the seam between the bathtub flooring and the tent body. This is because this seam was not taped. When you seal this seam, no water will leak through and get into your tent. For the full rain test video with more details, you can check out this video on my channel. I noticed that the two-person Vista quick tent was able to take light to moderate winds easily while still being sturdy. I didn't actually test for wind protection, but it should be pretty decent against maybe even heavy winds because there are four guidelines to keep it sturdy, the peak height isn't too high, and it has a pretty aerodynamic dome shape. When I guide out the entire tent and tried to shake it, I found it pretty sturdy. I also looked at quality. The yellow tent fabric here, including the rainfly, is made of 75D taffeta, which I found to be pretty high quality and I was very happy with it, but I do wish that they'd make the flooring a little bit thicker. I thought it was pretty thin. After my one hour heavy rain test, the flooring wasn't wet, but it felt to me like it might have leaked pretty soon after. I highly recommend using a ground sheet with this tent to protect the flooring. I found the bathtub flooring very useful though and it extends up to almost 5 inches. The mesh feels like high quality smooth and silky noceum mesh with very small holes that will keep out the smallest of bugs. The stitching all around the tent was really consistent. Some were single stitched like these pull clip attachments here, but most were double stitched. I found no loose threads in this tent, but I noticed that one of the pull clip attachments was not sewn down. It's just a small manufacturing defect though, and I like this tent enough to want to keep it despite this. I don't think the zippers are branded, but they're very, very smooth. Both the vestibule zips and the door zips were very smooth with no snags at all, and they felt really high quality. The poles are pretty high quality, I think they're fiberglass, and they're a little thicker than most of my other pop-up tents. For portability, this Teton Sports two-person quick tent has a packed size of 33 by 8 by 8 inches. For a size comparison, here's what it looks like beside a Coleman two-person sundome tent as well as a 32-ounce Nalgene bottle. 
Notice that this two-person quit tent is about 30% longer than the Coleman two-person sun dome tent with a more traditional setup, and the overall pack size is about 80% larger. This two-person quit tent weighs about 6.6 .6 pounds for just the tent and carrier bag alone. With the eight states and compression strap, that'll be another 0.4 pounds, so seven pounds altogether. The carrier bag comes with a nice shoulder strap for easy carry. For pros, this two-person Vista Quick Tent has an insane number of features that other pop-up or instant tents do not have. First, it has two doors for a serious amount of cross-ventilation. None of my other pop-up tents come with this many doors, and these doors are huge. Second, it has two vestibules, both generously sized as well. Third, it comes with a gear loft, plus four lantern loops and two pockets. Fourth, it comes with a lifetime warranty, all for a ridiculously inexpensive price of slightly over a hundred bucks, which is how much I paid for it. That's crazy value for money considering how high quality this tent is, and we're not even done going through the pros. This two-person Vista Quick Tent is my most spacious two-person pop-up tent by far, with a whopping 35.7 square feet of space inside the tent, plus an additional 8.6 square feet of vestibule space for a whopping 44.3 square feet of space in total. Also, this quick tent is easily my most versatile pop-up tent. You can stake down either side of the vestibule because both sides come with these loops. You can also just take the rain flight off entirely for tons of ventilation on hot days. This is not a common feature for pop-up tents because most of them have pre-attached rain flights plus not a lot of mesh. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button, thank you, and I really appreciate it. As for cons, if you're expecting your tent to pop open right out of the carry bag, well this Teton Sports Quick Tent doesn't do that. But even so, it takes just 3.5 minutes to set up, and just 3 minutes to pack up so it's still pretty quick, and that's including staking and guying out the entire tent. Another con is that the seam between the bathtub flooring and the tent body is not taped, so you gotta seal this seam yourself if you're expecting heavy rain. Also, I found the carry bag a little bit of a tight fit, but hey, that means it packs down really small for a two-person pop-up tent. Overall, the pros greatly, greatly outweigh the few cons. This two-person Vista Quick Tent is my pop-up tent of choice, and I'd pick this over any other pop-up tent in the market. I spent quite a bit of time in this tent over the couple of years that I've had it, and I would highly recommend it. How does this Teton Sports two-person Vista Quick Tent compare to other pop-up tents or other instant tents? Well, don't worry, because I've already done the comparison for you in these videos. I'll put them up when they're ready, so do check those out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.